how to break strong covenants, blood covenants spiritually, and make ineffective every hidden covenant that might be working against you and your progress. By God's grace, I am making this video because somebody actually demanded for it. Before I make this video, I need to warn parents. Parents, you need to educate your children. The person that actually wanted this actually ended a blood covenant with a boy whereby they cut their a kind of fingers and lick their blood in the name of entering blood covenant. For God's sake, no matter who the person is, even if it is your husband, your mother, your father, never you enter any form of blood covenant with anybody. Even the Bible says that there is no other blood that shall be shed other than the blood that Jesus Christ of Nazareth have actually shed in the cross of Calvary. It is very, very dangerous, inappropriate, and can destroy your destiny forever entering into blood covenant. Please no matter what parents advise your children so that youthful exuberance will not make them to do such thing. The person that is involved did this when they were actually in secondary school. And now that they have graduated, become matured, the man married, the woman married is affecting them. Blood covenant is not as acceptable for by any standard. The only covenant of blood that speak better things more than the blood of righteous one, Abel, is actually the blood that Jesus has shed on the cross of Calvary. So on that note, no other blood should be shed. Be it blood of animals, blood of bull and lamb or whatsoever, to cleanse sin, it's no longer happening. It happened in the Old Testament before the coming of Jesus Christ. But with the coming of Jesus Christ, no other blood is permitted to shed. Any religion that is supporting shedding of blood, you know, like I normally tell you in this channel, I may not like say, change your religion, dump your religion, no. But any religion that connects you to the Almighty God, the creator of universe, you are right. But any religion that is supporting you to be shedding blood for any reason, to enter into blood covenant with anybody, you shouldn't be part and parcel of that religion. So please, let's shun and avoid every form of blood covenant. Mothers, fathers, advise your children. It can actually destroy their destiny. But by God's grace, with God, all things are possible. Even if you have entered, the Bible says that in the time of ignorance that God overlooked, there is still a way that you can actually break it. So one thing with blood covenant is that once you try that, that person is living in you. That person has become part and parcel of you. So once you try that, every cause that is flowing, that person is flowing you. Blessing also is supposed to flow you, but you know one thing, we are actually living in the world of two forces, negative and positive. And once some things that are wrong that is being committed and they committed with wrong motion, it is the wrong a kind of forces, negative forces that want to work fast. So they work fast to transfer all the causes which the blessing may not even be there. That is why you don't have to enter into covenant with anybody. But if you only you can follow me to the end of this video, I will teach you how to get rid of it, how to break it permanently, break loose and be free though it is not easy but it is possible so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which actually help safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this trick correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do wait to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you for my new timers any video you might be looking for go to the search button in youtube just type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword in that video. Let's say favor. You will see all the videos are made about favor. You watch and get value. Also, Jenny Action TV slash cleansing because if you are new to this channel, that is where your spiritual was supposed to actually start. So you see all the videos are made about cleansing. You pick and there, watch and do it. And believe me, your life take another shift. So without wasting your time, let's delve into the video. So these are the items you need to break this covenant. Number one, local fowl egg. I didn't say agri fowl egg, any fowl egg, no. It must be local. You have to go to those that are selling spiritual materials. You will find local fowl egg. So when you have gotten it, you get 
21 pieces of chili pepper. Those tiny, tiny pepper. You will grind it when you have gotten it. So when you have gotten it, you get a white soup. This one is not soup of your choice. You need any white soup. Dove, lox, joy, any of those white soup. So you get seven pieces of shakur. No matter how small, number plays a key role in universe. Likewise color. So you get it seven. And then if you are a man, you get nine. Woman, seven pieces of shakur. Go to market and buy new black buckets black bucket you know most of the times i will tell you in this channel don't use black but this particular recipe requires black bucket and then you now get salt you get your normal kitchen salt not sea salt but make sure that it's not the one that you're using in your kitchen you have to buy a new salt then you get red oil like i told you when i was showing you the first month's recipe that oil replacing blood spiritually so you need to use blood to terminate that block convenient you entered into and then you now get bitter leaf then when you have gotten bitter leaf you now get cubes of sugar of honey and then you get after you have gotten all this item keep it aside look at what you do you get your bible and read psalm 51 first this prayer is best done in the midnight i will tell you the procedure you are going to prepare it but first you get Psalm 51 and pray that God will have mercy on you. That you did this in ignorance. You did not plan to do it. That it is out of ignorance that he should have mercy on you. When you have done that, you also read Acts chapter 3 verse 17 for those that are christian but if you're not a christian you're like a maybe muslim and any other religion there may be spiritual books you are reading whatever you read matters a lot find related chapters and verses and also read now acts 3 verse 17 it actually says and now brethren i would that through ignorance you did it as did also your rulers then let's see again Acts 17, in verse 30, it says, And the times of ignorance, God is God overlooked, but now commanded that every one should repent. Commanded that every all men everywhere to repent. So you now pray and say, God, according to this book of Psalms, that you did it in ignorance, that he should have mercy on you, that you are repenting of this blood covenant you enter. You call the full name of the person you enter that blood covenant with and call your name that today that you don't want that blood covenant anymore. You want it to become ineffective, that it was out of ignorance. You did it. You use these chapters and pray fervently. And that mean, and then after you have prayed, because believe me, this word is so mysterious. You have prayed to God, some spirit forces, powers, witness what you did. So in order to remove your self spiritually so that those forces will no longer work against you you have to do the spiritual work as soon as possible so now in the midnight if you can remember the very day you did it let's say on monday use monday midnight but if you cannot remember use the day you were born if you are born on tuesday wednesday anytime you use it but if you cannot remember do it on a friday or thursday night it will work more perfectly so you get that local egg if you're a woman that want to break out or a man but let's assume i'm talking to a woman now get that local egg make sure that the pointing edges is what is pointing up like this you use mastering tape and write the name of the person you have entered into that covenant and they paste it on that egg before you do that remember that you have to get like something like bow put water and salt and rinse that egg to come to remove every form of negative energies you might have bought the egg from somebody that is menstruating if you don't do that you may not activate that egg to work so when you have done that you now a kind of a paste the name of the person that entered that covenant then on a 12 minute set alarm so that when minute you wake up you come out and be the way you come into this world start, and start cleansing yourself with that egg and begin to pray that today that this covenant i i you call your full name entered with so 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 person maybe antony okay, okay that today that as i cleanse myself whatever image force causes that has passed from it to, to, to be affecting and inflicting my life that today that I am removing it, I am wiping it away that is no longer part of me. I want it to enter into this egg because egg represents life that's a new me. I want to be transformed, let a new me be, begin to exist that it should no longer be recognized. 
you start using it to cleanse every nook and cranny of your body. Remember not to come up, cleanse from here to do out. You are cleansing out, you are cleansing out. Then after you have cleansed yourself very well with that egg, go and keep that egg on a safe place. Because very early in the morning of that day, between four or five, six, you have to go out before you talk to anybody, call up place a key role in the universe. You are talking on breaking away from that evil convener you entered. You need to wear red like this to go out and go and look for. If you're a woman, make sure you're tying your head, head with a red scarf like this. If you're a man, a kind of, you put a kind of red hat and then with your clothes red. Then go out to a particular, if possible, four junction. That four junction will be east, stand for east, west, north, and south. But if you do not have any phone, any road at all, go out where you know you're not going to pass from for the next seven days. And go and break that egg. As you break it, you declare. Face the way that you are going to come back to your house. That you have broken whatever block covenant. Like let the universe bear you witness that today. From east, west, north, and south. That you are free from this covenant with this person. That nothing consign you again with him. You now break that egg and come back. Now, and after you must have come back. Then you now do this. In the daytime, ever before you start the egg one. Get that black bucket I see you you bet with it you buy you now fill it with water if possible rain water sea water or well water this three waters is mostly the the best water to use then when you fill it with water add that nine pieces of charcoal if you man if you get nine if you woman add seven pieces of charcoal allow it to stay at least six hours under the sun and then you bring it back because you are going to use it to part in that midnight immediately you finish that cleansing you now get that white soap i say you should buy so by cutting down your soap into pieces put it in a cup pour it hot water allow it to dissolve for like 20 minutes and then mix it together with your chili pepper or you pound both that soup and the pepper together let it mix very well then when you have done that immediately you finish your egg cleansing immediately after that cleansing you have kept that egg by its side then you now get it a bowl and put 21 spoons of red oil and the seven spoons of salt use your right middle finger and begin to pray like i told you when i was doing the first video on red oil on this channel the first month video i asked you the very first day we enter this month i told you that spiritually all you represent blood so when you are mixing it you are praying that this mixture represent a new covenant you want to enter with the blood of jesus christ because spiritually the name of jesus sends shiva to every evil spirit so immediately you finish mixing it you now begin to get it in your palm and then mix it in your palm and begin to rub it that mixture will last you for seven days so as soon as you come back from breaking that egg please remove the red cloth and the red hair scarf that you are tying make sure you are not wearing any artificial perm in your body and then keep it you are going to wash it later make sure you don't put on that cloth for the next seven days then the next thing you actually do is that uh, you now mix red oil with a kind of a uh, salt you know that one you have already mixed it this one is what you are kind of breaking in the morning so now every day right from that night that you finish that egg cleansing so you now mix a kind of uh, 21 spoons of red oil you are going to use this for the next seven days make sure that you put enough 21 spoons of red oil inside the bowl and then you now add three spoons of salt and then you use your right middle finger and turn it very well praying that this you are using it as a point of contact to represent the blood of jesus christ that you are you mixing this using it as a point of contact to represent blood of jesus that you want to enter into a new covenant with the blood of jesus and that this covenant is going to neutralize every other covenant working in your life that you are no longer interested in any other covenant and if you have you are sure that you have one covenant or the other in your life it may not be with whom i may be covenant of mommy spirit and some things we are done when we are born and it's a kind of a uh, disturbing your life follow this procedure and you'll be free then when you have finished, you start, you use your hands and start taking it and start rubbing it all over your body everywhere. Make sure you try to make sure that it touch every nook and cranny of your body. When you have rubbed it fully, 
you keep the remaining one and cover it and then you begin to pray and say oh god my the creator of the universe that today i wish to break away from every other covenant speaking over my life he didn't Covenant agreement, both those I know that and those that I don't know, those that I deliberately entered and those that I did, I did not know when I entered or my parents entered on my behalf, and particularly do the one that I enter with this particular individual. You mentioned that person you want to break free from the covenant you entered with, and then you now begin to pray. Then after you have prayed, then carry that to your pocket of water. You are going to get bitter, not bitter leaf. Bitter leaf is going to be your sponge. Bitter leaf try to take away everything negativity, hatred, backwardness, any problem in your life can easily be solved with bitter leaf. Bitter leaf is so powerful that, you know, when physically when you're eating bitter leaf, at the end it starts becoming sweet. No matter how bitter it is, so it is in our lives. When you use it, it makes the outcome of your life to become sweet. So now, you now a kind of a carry that water that is containing either seven or nine shakur, depending on who you are. Make sure that there is one spoon of a kind of honey inside it. There is one a kind of cube of sugar, and then there is a, a one spoon of salt. It's a powder, so you still put one spoon, and then you begin to pray that as you bat this today, that you are batting out every negativity, everything that is laying claim of you, that you are having covenant, that you are cleansing yourself to become pure for God and, and nobody. And that is why you are using this white soap to purify yourself. Then remember that that white soap you have already a kind of pound together, mix it. Together with something like this type of paper, chili paper that is grinded, you can actually get the quantity like this, like four, and mix it in that soup. Pray that this soup now, as I'm using it, is blinding the eyes of any spirit, any force, any a, a, a kind of power that is still connecting me with this covenant. That today I am free. That any power, any force that try to I blind your eyes with this soup, you will no longer see me. By this paper inside this particular soup, you are blinded. As this paper is peppering me, why I am betting that that is the suffering of my sin i am suffering for the last time that so shall it pepe you till you become blind over my life that from today i am free i am free indeed you bet very well then when you have bed, allow that water to dry in your body. No toweling, no, no rubbing of cream. Go and sleep. You will start dreaming if you do this very well. Your dream will tell you whether you are getting repression or not. It will help you to increase the tempo or you just relax. Then after you have done it, the next day you repeat the same procedure. Reading the same Bible card portions with this ranging from Psalm 51. And then 12 midnight you come out, you pray accordingly and today do the same bed. Third day you do it until the seventh day. After you have done it, on that seventh day you finish it, spread all those items on that day sun to dry up like the seven charcoal because it's the same charcoal you have been consistently using or the nine charcoal and then you now get that bitter leaf remember that the bitter leaf is what you are using as your sponge in all this bed and you put some and stand on needles stand barefooted on the grass stand on bitter leaf that everything about bitterness sorrow problem that you have passed through must give way and that you are restoring and recovering whatever you have lost in the course of this covenant that has threatened your life and then you gather it and dry because every day you change the bitter leaves and you dry them all on that song then on the eighth day now you now it means a new beginning you gather those things including that black bucket you will never use that black bucket again it has corrected those covenant and negativity and you break it destroy that black bucket completely and then set all of them ablaze so when you set it ablaze you now declare that so shall this issue come to an end permanently that you are free and you are free indeed so from that each time you are praying begin to thank god that you're already free and then you are praying also that god will remember you and restore everything that you have stood that i say you restored yes the canker one the caterpillar the palm one that this coming i have taken from you believe me after that seven days your life will take another shape and anytime the devil want to remind you of that rebuke that voice know that you are free because even in the time of ignorance god overlooked so with this i've actually come to the end of today's video believing that some people have actually find value if you're among them please give me that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload 
please and please comment on this video don't forget to share this video and channel to everyone as you do all this may god bless you honor you and cause you to ride upon the high places of this earth see your lady jenny saying